Well, good day, everybody. We're back in the garage. There's no safety glasses today. It is bright and it's hot as fuck outside. And we're gonna start off with the motherfucking beer time. We got some bush beer going on. Worked all day, came home. Gonna work on this project in 30 degree weather. Oh yeah. Before we get started here, this is gonna be my interior light. It's got a little button there for on and off. And normally when you look at these wires, what would you think? My natural reaction would be black is ground, the white is positive. But that's not the case with this. Got that powered up. It's actually the opposite. The black is the hot wire and the white is negative. That thing is pretty bright. Should come in pretty handy. Got the light mounted on the bottom, ran my power wire to the breaker. And now we need to mount this up. But I think I'm gonna work on the wiring harness first. need to mount the box. I think the easiest way to mount the box is to use my portal power right there to jack it up and then put some self-tapping screws through the inside and that should secure it. I think that should work out pretty good right there. Uh, 14 inches. If I lower this, hopefully the box will stay. Yep. Just punched my wires through the hole in the box. Getting closer to the end. Well, that's refreshing. I got a big rust hole right there I gotta patch up, but I'm glad these. Excellent. I got this part wired up, as you can see. I just charged this battery not that long ago and it looks like it's already like half dead and that light right there jaws 0.5 of an amps according to this thing 12.5 turn it off hook up the solar panel okay charge controller is all wired up we're gonna have to clean up the wiring a little bit later I just want to get it together right now so let's go see if we can do some charging with the sun that's left Probably about seven o'clock at night right now, still 30 degrees. I ran the solar wire on top of the roof with these 3M clips. We'll see how well they work. If not, we'll have to go to a different option, but let's plug this in. Oh, they're plugged in and tucked underneath for right now. Uh, this is weird, I'm not seeing any charge happening yet. There's definitely enough light outside that it should get the multimeter out. Well, according to this, I'm seeing 19 volts at the panel. Well, after doing some troubleshooting with the multimeter, this pin was the problem. What happened is that it pushed down in the sheath. So now that I got it back up and I plug it back in, I should be seeing power. There we go. Now we got some solar happening. 13 volts. 0.6 amps at this time of day. That's not too bad. Well, it just occurred to me that I wired these lights up wrong. Remember I talked about in the video, I wanted center lights and side lights, and uh, yeah, I don't know what the fuck I was thinking, but they ended up getting wired left side and right side. But we'll try it out. Maybe this will work out better in the end. If not, it'll just be a quick change, do some quick wiring, and that'll be it. But camping in the bush, maybe I might want the right side on versus the left, who knows. All LEDs are on right now. We'll get a better look at it at nighttime. I'm just glad this project. Then they go to these switches here. So it says, I'm still drawing 0.4 amps. Looks like that battery is almost dead, 12.3. Uh, so 
so we're drawing 0.1 negative power because this solar should be a load one come up pretty soon yeah my load is 0.5 amps right now so if I kill this the load should go back down to my load still says 0.5 amps now it says zero I'm gonna have to check the charge on this tomorrow but this battery I've had for a long time since I had my boat and that battery was produced in 2008 so it's almost 10 years old but you can see on the screen right there we just charged it not that long ago like I said and we're down to one bar so that's not a good sign especially if I'm gonna be out in the bush glad it's finally done everything is mounted up like I said I screwed up mount the left side right side we're gonna have to see if that's gonna work or not if not we'll just change it ran the wires down there use a trailer plug connector so everything can be disconnected light bar can come off this center section wire it can be disconnected from the main harness as well which I'm thinking tomorrow I may have to stop off and get an AGM battery I think that's what I'm gonna have to do well it's the next day and it is still freaking hot out so one of the last things I need to do is pull that battery out, rip down the Canadian tire, pick up another battery. I found one that's 100 amp hours for 169. It's not an AGM, uh, AGM one, and the same power would run me 300 and some bucks. I'm just gonna say screw it. I don't need one that bad. Oh yeah, look at that score, 20 dollars, but it's fake. Man, what a rip off from a distance. It looked legit. I'm going to. Uh, Throw her back out here somewhere. Anyways, this thing's been going all day in this hot sun, so this battery theoretically should be charged up. Let's have a look. So according to the solar panel, she's fully charged. 13.8 volts. But we're gonna shut her down. Yeah, this old battery's treated me well, but time to get a new one. And we're back. This is a new battery right here. 800 marine cranking amps, 185 reserve capacity minutes, 105 amp hours. Yeah, I'm not using the posts. I'm just using those twist on ones, I'll save the posts for something else. This battery is not quite charged. 12.8 volts, 1.8 amps. Pretty good charge come in 2.3 apps. I just need to silicone the top rockets now. There you are, small layer of clear silicone around there in the feet and the back on the bolt. Hopefully that should do it. Good job done. Now we can move on to something else. Hey buddy, you gonna hang outside while your human has a fire? So I am pretty impressed that light is bright. Bright enough for camping, that's for sure. Since some of these lights, I guess I should turn the power on. And these will be my lights for camping, which will definitely be plenty of light. That's for sure. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed with that. All right, time to shut her the fuck down. We got some Bohemian all the way from Saskatchewan. All right, motherfucking beer time. We're gonna try this again. I did the shot, and then before I had the garage doors open, and um, it was a lot brighter here because this camera set on manual, so everything's got to set manual. So when I replayed it, it was dark as fuck. So anyways, Bohemian, this is a Saskatchewan beer. I don't think it's brewed in Saskatchewan, but you can only buy it in Saskatchewan that I know of. Growing up, 
We used to drink this from time to time when we weren't drinking Pilsner. <sighs> Doesn't taste too bad, but I'm pretty sure if you had enough of these, you'd have a bad night. So moving forward, we had a few issues with the installation, um, with the solar panel, with the pins being pushed out when they were connected. That was rectified. The solar panels are indeed charging now. Put in a brand new battery because the other one was pooched. And the uh, only thing that's left is we're going to have to take it out and try it out. Do I need to bring the generator with me? Can I survive on a weekend with the solar panel running the things that I need to run? That's something we're going to have to figure out hopefully in the next couple weeks. This heat wave doesn't seem to be going away. Last year it was 100 days of rain. This year it seems to be 100 days of extreme heat. <sighs> well, extreme heat to me. To people down in Texas, this would probably be an average day. Anyways, motherfucking beer time. We got some Bohemian. We're in limbo right now. What I'm going to do next, there's lots of projects. And uh, I'm going to get all these loose ends tied up and then focus on the car. I'll talk to you guys later.